Hello, welcome to Message 91. In this video, we'll learn how to send WhatsApp messages through the API using the API documentation and Postman. First, log in to your Message 91 account and get the auth key. Go to Profile or Dashboard. You will see the auth key option there. Click on it, select and enter your number, and verify with the OTP. Once verified, you will receive your auth key. Go to the WhatsApp section. Now, click on the templates from the left sidebar. Here, Click on Create New Template on the right side to create a new template, or you can send the already created one. Template approval by Meta usually takes some time. Here, we are using an existing template. In this template, we have three variables. The first is for the name, the second is for the order number, and the third is for the day. To send it via the API, go to the left sidebar, click on Support, and then click on API Documentation. Here, you can see the WhatsApp Send Template API. In this section, you will find the API body as well as the base URL. Now, go to Message 91 panel. In front of each template, you will notice a JSON code symbol. Click on it, and you will get the complete API details of template. Always copy the JSON code from the template section in Message 91. To use it, copy only the body code and paste it into the Message 91 API documentation in the body section. Next, add the parameters. First, pass the recipient's mobile number as the number parameter. Then, in the first template variable, enter the customer's name. In the second variable, enter the order code. And in the third variable, enter the day. Below, you can see the auth key option. You can get the auth key from your message 91 panel. Insert the auth key and click Try to send the WhatsApp message. To check the status, go to the Logs option in WhatsApp section. Here, in Logs section, you can see the template name, mobile number, message status, and other parameters as well. Now, to test the API through Postman, Go back to the template list. In front of the template, you will see the JSON code symbol. Click on it and copy the complete API code. Open Postman and click on Import. Paste the complete API and click Import to Collection. Then, insert the message 91 auth key and pass the mobile number parameter in the API. Next, add the template parameters. Use the first variable for the name, the second variable for the order ID, and the third variable for the day. Then click Send. You can view the message status here. From the request ID, you can view the report for the number in the WhatsApp logs section. Here, prior, you can see the report. We can also send images and video templates via API. Refer to the WhatsApp media size and format limitations for sending any media. Prepare your media as per the given limitations. First, go to WhatsApp, then select a template with a media file, such as an image. Next, copy the curl code and paste it into your API. Now, insert the mobile number and the URL. You need to provide a publicly accessible URL. You can use our file hosting option to convert an image or other media to a URL. Go to File Hosting, click Upload File. You can upload formats such as PNG, JPG, PDF, MP4, etc. Choose your media file, then enter the file name and URL with or without an extension as needed, and then click Upload. Here you can see the file name, and in front of it, you will find the Copy URL option. Copy the URL, paste it into the API, and click Try to send WhatsApp message. To check the status, go to the Logs option in WhatsApp section. Here, in Logs section, you can see the template name, mobile number, message status, and other parameters as well. Thank you.